Hello again and thank you for watching Jeff and Jenny's classic restorations. Sorry. Daddy, what does it have to be called Jeff and Jenny's classic restorations and not Jenny and Jeff's classic restorations? Because that's why Daddy does all the work, sweetheart. That's why, isn't it? All you do is just sit around watching. Yeah. Well, as I say, before we were interrupted, um, welcome back to uh, the Jeff and Jenny's classic restorations. And uh, the window is now fixed. The uh, tree is okay, and my back is a lot better. Only this week I've got uh, an eye infection. So uh, I might do a regular channel now um, of my regular ailments for every week. So I you to look forward to. But uh, today I'm just going to get on, and we're going to do the Shimati engine, which is a Minarelli uh, V1 engine. So we're going to have a little look at that today, and hopefully we can get some sort of... Uh, well, I've cleaned it up a little bit, but we're going to hopefully go with some powder coating on the on the sides and uh, we'll come and see how we get on. Well, lucky, back into the shed now. It's not cold out there, just very windy. Uh, so I've had a little bit of a go at this. I've given it a clean up, had the sort of aluminium oxide all over the side of it. It's all been uh, sanded back now. Um, I never, I don't think I'm really going to get a decent shine on it, but this will just make it look decent. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's a Morelli V1 engine, and um, I've also drained the, the oil out, which um, was, was a sort of an oil. It didn't look uh, like oil to me, but uh, whatever it was, at least it's got lubrication in there. And this is the drain plug here, which I drain the oil out, and uh, this is the level uh, to, to do it at the end, and this is the filler here. So I'm waiting for some oil to come, but also I did order a set of uh, gaskets which I can't find where they are it's not these ones I can't find them anywhere um, so I've ordered a set of gaskets coming from Italy which will uh, which will be good for, uh, for for this bit I'm gonna take this off this is the gearbox bit sits in the oil and this is the electrical side now I'm hoping that I might be able to powder coat that with a nickel silver and the same with this one so and also I'm going to take the, uh, the head off it does seem very smooth this side of things, the bearings, uh, but I and the piston looks very good from looking through the exhaust port. But uh, I'm going to try and uh, which I'll take this off, have a look, and all this can be sanded down. And I'm going to paint that with some uh, heat resistant paint. This one I'll try and polish up a bit more. And also, I've also taken the exhaust off, um, which is not too bad condition, quite solid. But I noticed someone's had the repair in the past along there, it's quite rare, so um, you know, this does need to be. I think it's quite solid still so um, that will be done in heat resistant paint as well so we're going to start the uh, a little bit of a strip down on this one well, I just tried out this uh, indent manifold and these were quite stuck these nuts so I've just used an impact driver which has now loosened those off so we can get that one off now I hope without any problems okay That screw out, bolt out. I'll do that for now. And this one should hopefully lift up with it. gaskets coming so that should be all right one other thing before we carry on I was uh, looking online to find out where the actual engine number was uh, when I register it um, but uh, I couldn't find it anywhere but eventually I did clean it up and uh, there's the engine number just here Minarelli V1 and any engine number just anyone interested right so we'll carry on uh, what should we do next I better take the kickstart off uh, you don't have to see that oh, I'll just unbolt this and hopefully this will come off. Well, back again now. It's about two hours later. Dinner, everything else done. Will this come out? No. What did I say? I'll be back in a minute. Just take that out. I've tried everything. Heating it, uh, banging it, twisting it, mold grips. It's still stuck on there. As the clutch did feel quite good, by turning it over, I think what I'm going to do is just, um, when we get around to that, just replace the oil. 
So uh, it, it's, I've had enough of that. So this I will sand down and uh, I'll just have to paint that one. I'd like to have powder coated it, but uh, it's going to take all day, probably all tomorrow. I tried WD-40, let it soak for half an hour, heat it up, cool it down. Still there, it's wasted all my time. So we'll move on now. Uh, I'm hoping we can get this. Uh, this should be where the electrical side of things are in here. So hopefully this will come off. Oh, well, that's all right. There we go. I think someone's actually, I'm sure someone's been in here and done something before because some of the things are looking very good condition. That one didn't take off the uh, kickstart, I don't think. So we've just got these four hexagon bolts here. And that one didn't I? Right, let me just take these out and uh, I'll come back to you, hopefully very shortly. Right, that's the, uh, the three bolts out there. Now this hopefully will slide off. There we go. Right, okay. And what we've got here. should come off as so I've got no idea about these engines I'm more than mobile that person right. let me just take those out there's another three more okay so that's off now and this takes us down to the magneto um, looking inside there I don't know if you can see that the coil they're actually in very good condition. I actually feel that someone has actually has actually been in there. Um, I can see the points there as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, they might. Well, they're okay. Probably might need a bit of cleaning. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. I'll probably I will come back to that. But um, we'll carry on with this uh, this strip down for a moment. Stand that up for a minute. Right, okay. So as I say, I'm not too sure what to do about that. In fact, I'm not, this is obviously timing marks here as well. So um, I need to look into that one before we start mucking around with that. So let's get this head off, um, hopefully just to be cleaned and uh, just check the state of the piston. this cross hatched way Just get this other one out the nose for and then i'll come back to you when we're ready to take it off right that's all four bolts out so uh hopefully this will give us a little tap again I'll pull this off right okay a little bit of leverage and what have you I finally got there just feel like it's coming off now so oh dear. and there we are ok 
Okay, right. There you go, so so. Obviously, we need to clean that up. Here we go again. Is this going to come off? Who knows? Yeah, there we go. Look. There. Right. There we are. The piston, it seems. Did look alright. I think it's quite new. Um, so all this is going to get clean now. The bells. The bells are nice and uh, shiny and no scratches, I don't think. But I have to be careful because there's brick gone in there. Okay. Um, let's try. Everything feels very smooth down there. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we've got these little bits to clean up. Uh, still need to think about this. What to do? Because I need to find out what these these marks are for. And uh, carry on with the old uh, cleaning up for the moment. Well, I'll finally back next day now. Um, I persevered with this, so I did uh, get some information online. Uh, someone told me that they're actually gudging pins. Well, it's the first time I've had that on a kickstart, so you learn something every time. I've used them on pedal shafts and that, but not on a kickstart. But uh, I think that may have had it, but uh, if not, I'll try and, if it has, I'll try and get another one from somewhere. So we don't have to worry about this for now anyway. Um, this wasn't easy to get off either. This I had to use, try and get uh, this clamp thing underneath uh, eventually I was able to just lever it off um, we're finally there so uh, that will uh, go back on later so at least now we hopefully we can get inside this um, clutch assembly area so um, let me get the right tools and I'll come back to you well we're back to these hex drive things again so let's, uh, there we go how many have we got here uh, three Four, five, six. Oh, sorry, I didn't need a whack here. Right, let me go around and get all these out and uh, we'll see what we've got inside, hopefully. Right, they're, they're all uh, loose now and some are longer than others, I think. So I'm going to take those off um, and I'll make a note of where they go. So this, hopefully this will, this will come off now. There you go. Hmm. That's it, lost that already. Let's leave that for now and there. Now this was this. It has got a funny smell to it. Always did when I was stripping it down before, but um it's got this I don't know what you call it, some sort of lubrication, but it's milky, horrible stuff. So they definitely needed some new oil in there, but everything else, to be honest, is very smooth. I'm sure it's either not been used much or it, um, other things have been replaced. So I can't get this back till I get these new gaskets that are due to arrive. But uh, I think what I'll do with this one, I say this is all very good condition. I'll clean it up. Um, so we're going to do more cosmetic today. So I'll I'll come back to you once we, once I've sorted these bolts out in the right uh, section. So uh, I'll come back to you. Well, I've uh, cleaned all that smelly muck out like a milky stuff I possibly I mean it did have oil in it it was a sort of an oil but it, I think it might have condensation in it so it went white but uh, I've got some proper oil coming which is a, a non-degreasant oil and uh, it's debatable whether you need it but I've got it anyway so that's coming I haven't got that yet uh, inside here um, is all the uh, kickstart mechanism and uh, I was going to powder coat this but knowing my luck it's no point I think we might as well just leave sleeping dogs lie that all looks pretty good in there so I think for this side, I'll give this a, a good polish up as best I can. And for the fan side, this one I will powder coat. The only thing that was bothering me is this bit here goes into the uh, the fins of the um, well into the fins of the of the head there. So I may possibly just uh, powder coat up to a certain point. 
but uh, and polish and rest, and then that will that will look nice. So uh, we're in between showers at the moment. I'm going to try and get some of these cleaned up, and also we need to get this uh, head cleaned up and put in uh, heat resistant paint and exhaust. So uh, when we get the weather in a minute, uh, I'll um, I'll get on and start uh, start polishing and, and sanding down. Well, I'm back again. Uh, another dark cloud coming. I've been beaten by the weather again. Before we do this, that's the best I could do for the uh, the clutch mechanism. Um, so before it rains, which is very, very, very short then, just going to coat this one with the uh, nickel silver. Um, I've done it up to there because I don't want that being in the exhaust. So. Let's get this done, but it's a really dark cloud coming, so let's give it a go. If that comes to think of it, that's not right, is it? Don't want to be touching that. Okay, I'll just get this in the oven and uh, I'll come back to you. And also the uh, the fins here. Um, I haven't given this an acetone yet, but uh, I'm going to just quickly mask up some of these areas uh, where the uh, gaskets will go. And uh, I'm going to give that a coat of heat resistant black paint. Um, and then I'll probably, once that uh, casing's done, I'll just put that in the oven just for a little bit to burn that off. So let's say it's going to rain very shortly been a novel day so uh, I'll uh, come back to you uh, very shortly. Hello well finally got that done um, been in the oven we had a thunderstorm would you believe um, so that has stopped and then it, I had a little bit of chance to get on again um, and now it is raining again it's raining and showers and everything so as I previously mentioned in the hurry this is done it's the best I can do it's not bad compared to what it was so that's all ready to go back on later on uh, this is still a little bit warm, I think. Yeah, it is. This is the cylinder head that's been done in the heat resistant paint. The magneto cover, I'm quite pleased with that. That's come out uh, nicely. Um, it's a matte rather than a, a gloss, that one. And over here, I don't know if you can see, I've just had enough chance to sand down and put some heat resistant paint on the exhaust. So. I've just got the cylinder head to do over here. Um, I'll try and do that when, well, perhaps, uh, well, as soon as I can. And then we can come back once those uh, gaskets come and get to, uh, get it back together again. So, uh, right, that'll do for today. As I say, that's it for another week. And I saw it was a bit rushed at the end there, but I just can't win with this weather at the moment. It's, uh, it's sunny, but showers at the moment. Uh, Jenny's had enough of that and come in for a little bit. So uh, uh, hopefully next week my uh, eye will be a bit better. Um, it's one thing after another. So please look forward to the next element for next week. Um, thank you to all my subscribers and thank you for your comments as well. Please subscribe if you do like the videos. And uh, until next time, you take care. See you soon. Bye bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody.